What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to convert percents to fractions. All right, so all you have to remember about percents is that they're literally just fractions that have a denominator of 100. Okay, so 7% written as a fraction, remember the bottom is always 100, right? And then in the top is just whatever number you have here. So since we just have a seven here, that's what goes up top. Okay, so 7% as a fraction would be seven over 100. And we can't reduce that anymore, so that's our final answer. Okay, so the next one, 65% written as a fraction would be 65 over 100. Okay, and then we can reduce this fraction a little bit, right? The top and the bottom are both divisible by five, so I'm gonna divide by five on the top and on the bottom. Okay, so then that's gonna be equal to, what's 65 divided by five? That's 13, okay? And that's gonna go over 100 divided by five, which is equal to 20, okay? This is as reduced as we can get it, so our final answer here would be 13 over 20. All right, next number, we have 420%. So again, all you have to do is take this number right here and put it over 100. So 420 over 100. Okay, so now we can reduce this fraction as well. A little trick you can do to reduce this one first is whenever you have both of your numbers end in zero, so the top number ends in zero, and the bottom number also ends in zero, right? So you can actually just cross those out, okay? And then all we'd be left with is 42 over 10, okay? 42 over 10. So that helps us a little bit, right? Now it's a little easier to work with. Can I reduce this anymore? Uh, well, actually I can, because both of these numbers are divisible by two, right? Because they're both even. So I'm gonna divide the top by two, and I'm gonna divide the bottom by two. Okay, so then what's 42 divided by two? That's equal to 21. And then that's gonna go over 10 divided by two, which is equal to five, okay? And then this is as reduced as we can get it. So your final answer here would be 21 over five, okay? All right, so hopefully those weren't too bad. Now let's just do two more examples they require a little bit more work, but hopefully they're not too bad either, all right? So here we have 1.5%. So again, literally whatever number you have here, just put it over 100. So 1.5 over 100. Okay, so the issue here is we have a decimal, right? We can't have a decimal in a fraction. So what we have to do is move it to the end over here. So then it becomes a whole number, right? So instead of having 1.5 up here, this is gonna turn into 15. Okay, but the thing is, if we move the decimal point one time up here, we also have to take the decimal point down here and move it one time, okay? But if you notice something, we don't have a number here, right? So whenever there's an empty spot like that, in order to fill in the blank, you just have to put another zero. Okay, so instead of having 100, we moved the decimal one point, so then this turns into 1,000, okay? So I'll rewrite my numbers over here. So this turned into 15 over 1,000. Okay, now, can we reduce this? Yes, because both the top and bottom are both divisible by five, okay? So I can divide the top number by five, and I can also divide the bottom number by five. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce this down to, what's 15 divided by five? That's three, and then that's gonna go over 1,000 divided by five. Well, let's do that over here. 1,000 divided by five. So five doesn't go into one, but it does go into 10. How many times? Two times, right? And then two times five is equal to 10, and we have no remainder, right? Okay, and now that we just have zeros at the end of our number, five will not divide into either of these zeros, right? So these zeros, just move them straight up, okay? So then five divides into 1,200 times, okay? So 1,000 divided by five is equal to 200, all right? And we can't reduce this anymore, so this would be your final answer, three over 200. All right, last problem we have here is 33 and a third percent. Okay, so again, 
Whatever number you have here, just put it over 100. That, that's step number one. So I have 33 and one third over 100. Okay, now this mixed fraction, we can't really do anything with this. We have to turn it into just a normal fraction, or in other words, an improper fraction. So how do you turn a mixed fraction into an improper fraction? Well, all you have to do is multiply this number and this number, so three times 33, and then you just add this last number, or one, at the very end. So what's three times 33? That would be 99, okay? And then what's 99 plus one? That would be 100. Okay, so 33 and a third, written as an improper fraction, would be equal to 100. So this would be your numerator, okay? And then what goes in the denominator? Well, whatever number you originally had here, so three in this case, is what would go here, okay? So 33 and a third converted to an improper fraction would be 100 over three. Okay, so now we're gonna put this over 100. Okay, so we're getting there. This still needs a little bit of work. So now we have a fraction divided by a whole number. How do you do that? Well, the first thing you want to do is rewrite this with a division symbol. Okay, so instead of using a bar, we're going to use a division symbol. So we're going to have 100 over 3 divided by 100. Now, in order to divide fractions, a little acronym I like to remember is KFC, okay? And that stands for Keep, Flip, Change. Okay, so this is telling me I'm gonna keep my first fraction as it is. I'm gonna flip my second fraction, but this isn't a fraction right now, it's a whole number, right? So to turn it into a fraction, I simply just have to put it over one, right? So now instead of just 100, it's 100 over one, okay? So now that it's a fraction, I'm gonna flip it, and then the C stands for change your sign. So instead of dividing, we're gonna multiply. Okay, so again, I'm gonna keep my first fraction as it is, so 100 over three stays as 100 over three. I'm gonna flip my second fraction, so instead of 100 over one, I'm gonna have one over 100, okay? And then change means instead of dividing, we're gonna multiply, okay? So now we have 100 over three times one over 100. Okay, so now I'm just multiplying two fractions, so that's easy enough, because you just multiply straight across, right? And one thing we can do before multiplying is cancel something out, okay? So whenever you have the same number on top and on the bottom, you can actually cross those out, okay? Because they cancel each other out. So then on top, all I'm left with is one, and that's gonna go over, three. And that's obviously as simplified as we can get it. So this would be your final answer. So 33 and a third percent written as a fraction would be one third. Okay. All right, guys. So that is how you convert percents to fractions. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. And I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's also a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, including more topics on percents, definitely go check that out and I'll see you there.